Good morning, South Florida. I'm Francis Wang. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Here's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. This morning, 20 people are confirmed dead in the Bahamas. The Bahamian Prime Minister is promising to rebuild better and stronger. The U.S. Coast Guard is assisting with the rescue and transport of injured people back to Nassau for medical care. The United Nations says 70,000 people are in immediate need of aid. And this morning, relief efforts, big and small, are not slowing down across South Florida. A massive yacht bound for the Bahamas with tons of food and supplies is hoping to leave Fort Lauderdale this morning. American Airlines is also taking a Boeing 737 in Nassau this morning with relief supplies. The supplies are for American, Airline, American Airlines employees impacted by the storm. And this morning, Hurricane Dorian is bearing down on the southeastern U.S. coast. Whipping winds and drenching rain already starting to pick up in parts of South Carolina. You can see water beginning to pool in certain areas as the rain moves through. And taking a live look now from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, courtesy of EarthCam, you can see the winds really picking up as Dorian just gets closer to the coast. Now that's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.